Nick's rival coach, Darko Bryakovich, has just confirmed that teams are afraid of Mitchell Robinson, and we have to talk about this. So what's up, guys? Welcome back to Nick's Digest. It's Chris here, and I still don't have a new microphone, but let's just jump right into this stuff because, guys, there are NBA teams out there that are fearing the block nest monster himself, Mitchell Robinson, as Darko Bryakovich, after the Knicks and Raptors game, said this on the subject when somebody's like twice your size there's not much you can do when mitchell robinson checked in he looked like a giant out there now it's important to note that the raptors starting center along with their starting power forward small forward and point guard two of them being rj and iq shout out to former knicks were not there when the knicks just absolutely ravaged the toronto raptors in a hilarious way yeah ben yeah we did also thanks for making this thumbnail but, uh, yeah, so, um, look, when we look at this, what we're seeing is Mitchell Robinson has been back for one game, one game, now two at the time that this video is coming out, and he already has shown why he's such a massive importance for this New York Knicks squad. He is a true center. I think something we've learned about Precious Achua, especially since Randall went down, is that Precious is a power forward. He's not a center. The man is just not a center. He works better at the four, and we've seen that. Mitchell Robinson came in and tore up in 12 minutes of action, and he showed why he's so important to this Knicks team. I mean, the second Mitch came in the game, within five seconds, he had an offensive rebound. He basically just moved Chris Boucher out of the way like he was nothing. Meanwhile, he's a six foot ten professional athlete. And Mitch just ran up and got the offensive board because that's what Mitch does. The man is a monster on the offensive boards. He's so good at tracking rebounds. He's such a good shot blocker. He blocked two shots. He has just been this incredible player since the Knicks drafted him 35th or 36th overall. And now it's paying off once again. He's come back from the injury, and he's showing why he's so important to this Knicks team. And this matters for the playoffs. Because, look, I understand that Mitchell Robinson did not have a great playoff series against the Miami Heat. As Bam Adebayo just frankly outmuscled him, and Mitch is not used to that, and that definitely threw him off. However... Now Mitch is going to mainly be going up against backup centers as Isaiah Hartenstein will be the starting center for the remainder the remainder of the season, barring that he stays healthy, knock wood. But right now what we're looking at is Mitchell Robinson going up against backup centers in the NBA. The guy who absolutely outplayed Jared Allen and Evan Mobley at the same time, torching them both in the first round of last year's playoffs. We're now going to see that guy... Go up against backup big men. I mean, he could be such a massive X factor in every series. I mean, let's just think about it right now. Let's say the Knicks in the first round play the Orlando Magic. Or, wow, this is really bad. I just do not know who the sixth seed is in the NBA. So I'm currently looking it up on my phone as I film this because this is just wildly unprofessional. It's the Pacers. Mitchell Robinson has struggled against Miles Turner in his career because Turner does a great job dragging big men out of the paint. Now, Isaiah Hartenstein has zero problem going out of the paint. That means you're going to put who up against Mitchell Robinson? Isaiah Jackson? Someone like that? Mitch is going to torch them as a backup center if the Knicks and the Pacers play in the first round. He will not let Tyrese Halliburton do his thing at all. I think Mitchell Robinson is in store for a massive playoffs playing around 20 to 22 minutes as the Knicks backup center off the bench. I think we could see him just absolutely show why he is a top tier starting level center in this NBA. Is he an all-star? No. Is he as good as Joel Embiid? No. But can he give every single center in the NBA hell? Absolutely. You're going to have to call those sirens out there and call for help. Because Mitchell Robinson will be tearing teams up. Now, if you take a look from an SNY article, talking about just where Mitch's role will go, like, throughout the rest of this season, he said that in the case that Robinson does remain in reserve, it'll be interesting to see how he gets along with an unfamiliar unit. As with a full roster, the starters alongside Miles McBride, Josh Hart, and Boyan Bogdanovich are backing up the starters, assuming Precious and Alec Burks are the next men up, so playing situationally, not exactly in the playoff rotation. 
it'll be interesting for Mitch because this is a new unit. However, these guys have such high potential to work well with Mitch as Bogdanovich is a great shooter. Josh Hart is good at everything. Deuce McBride is a great shooter, along with Deuce being great at other things too. But when I'm talking court spacing, when we're talking offense, Josh Hart is finding Mitch on lobs already after one game. Boyan Bogdanovich and Deuce McBride are two great NBA shooters. It'll give Mitchell Robinson spacing. And yeah, he hasn't played with Bogdanovich and only played 15 minutes with Deuce. Josh Hart and him have a rapport together and put up the best net rating this year. And suggesting the pairing could be fearsome off the bench, I think that's an understatement. Because Mitchell Robinson on the bench is arguably the best bench player in the playoffs. If you think there's someone better than Mitchell Robinson off the bench in this year's NBA playoffs... Comment who you think that is down below, because right now, when I'm thinking about it, I can't think of one bench player, one sixth man, better than Mitchell Robinson off the bench. Like, he's going to tear backup centers apart. It's going to be hell for teams to get rebounds, and winning the rebound battle is such an incumbent part of the playoffs. When there's less fouls, when there's less free throws, when contact is way more accepted, Mitchell Robinson is going to be able to body up some backup big men, and he will give them absolute hell when he does it. Now, as mentioned here, McBride and Boyan's shooting does fit nicely, but the Knicks will need them, whichever star rounds out the lineup to pick up creating the slack. Randall has nice chemistry with Mitch on the pick and roll. They actually ran that a lot to start this season, Randall realizing that he's great as a pick and roll ball handler. Him and Isaiah Hartenstein have not really done it that much because it's not exactly the same thing. Hartenstein is a little bit different from Mitch. Hartenstein is more of a high post creator. So that means that there's been less pick and rolls. But Mitch and Julius have a great rapport together. The two have been teammates for a long time. They're friends. They click well. So obviously Julius and Mitch could run that pick and roll in the playoffs. But also just seeing how Brunson and McBride work along with Mitchell Robinson starting. I mean, imagine you're trying to run a pick and roll and Deuce McBride and Mitchell Robinson are the defenders. That pick and roll is not going to work. And Robinson showed how much he's learned defensively and developed, but come the playoffs, he'll need to recreate that growth on offense, not in the ball handling post-up move categories, but anticipating the pressure on the roll man, getting open as the outlet and making the right four on three play from there. Obviously, all these things are true. But when we're looking at Mitch, we're only going to see him for 20 minutes a night, which I think is going to give him more of an excuse to just go crazy for those 20 minutes. Just go for broke, because you're not going to be playing massive minutes. You're not playing starter-level minutes. So Mitch can just really go all out in shorter intervals and give teams hell throughout the playoffs. I can't wait to see this. I think it's going to be massive for the Knicks having Mitch back. He's such an important player to the team's success. We've seen this countless times in the past. The Knicks are better when Mitchell Robinson is on the court. That has been the case his entire seven year. I cannot believe it's been that long Knicks career. I truly think this is a great moment for the Knicks to get Mitchell Robinson back because he's going to be able to ramp things up. The Knicks are going to have a few games to get Mitch integrated, get him up to around 20 minutes per game. Things should click from there. And I mean, on the season, are the numbers great? No, but six points, 10 rebounds, shooting 60% from the field. Mitchell Robinson absolutely is still that guy with 16.2 PER. We are going to see some massive production from Mitch come to playoffs. Comment your thoughts down below. Like this video. Subscribe. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Go Knicks.